Hi, I'm Mac Taylor, California Legislative Analyst. Each November, my office puts out a report entitled California's Fiscal Outlook. And in that report, we update our economic, revenue, and spending projections, not only for the 2009-10, the current fiscal year, but for five fiscal years following that. It really serves as a starting point for the legislature in their deliberations on the 2010-11 budget, which will start next July 1. Now, when the legislature passed the budget for this current fiscal year, back in July, it had a planned reserve in the general fund at the end of the year of about a half a billion dollars. Unfortunately, our updated numbers show that the situation has deteriorated quite a bit. For the current year, 2019, we now project that the state will face a $6.3 billion deficit at the end of this year, absent any additional actions by the legislature. In addition, looking out at the following year, the budget year, 2010-11, we project that the gap between revenues and spending will be $14.4 billion, resulting in a total problem that the legislature will have to deal with of almost $21 billion. And what that means is it needs to find $21 billion in solutions between now and the end of the 2010-11 fiscal year in order to restore the budget to the black. Now, you may ask, what are the reasons for this large deficit number, given that we just passed a budget that had a planned surplus for the current year? Well, I think there are a few reasons for that. First of all, even when we passed the budget in July for 2009-10, we knew that 2010-11 had a large underlying problem that we had not addressed. And that's because we have so many one-time solutions in the 2009-10 budget. We've accelerated revenues, we've borrowed money from local governments, we had some tax increases that will start going away. All of these things gave us solutions by reducing our spending or raising some money in 2009-10, but those solutions are not there in the following fiscal year. In addition, our problem with the current year, that $6.3 billion number that I mentioned, is basically re the result of the deterioration of many of the solutions that we adopted. For example, we now think that $1.4 billion in savings that we assumed we could get out of the Department of Corrections budget, that's the department that houses the state's pr uh, felons throughout prisons in California, that $1.4 billion we're not going to be able to achieve. Similarly, in the state's Medi-Cal program, which provides health benefits to low-income Californians, we think there's almost $900 million in savings that we counted on that we don't think we're going to be able to realize in 910. Finally, there's some softness in state revenues in the first four months of this fiscal year. And so this contributes a little bit to our additional problem. But in fact, the economic and revenue situation is one of the few bright spots in our report. Based on our last forecast that we did in May, the situation really hasn't changed very much on the economics and underlying revenues. And that's good news because, in fact, the economies are recovering, even though we're forecasting modest growth in the coming years. Now, as you can see from this chart, the state's operating gap uh, over both the past two years and what we're projecting for the next couple of years. And you can see that we went from revenues of $102.5 billion in 2007-8 down to $88 billion in 2010-11. And that's even with some revenue solutions in the form of temporary tax increases that are reflected in that $88 billion problem. So you can see that on the revenue, revenue side, the, the very deep and long-lasting recession has had a dramatic impact on state revenues. Spending in 2010-11 barely recovers to the level we were at in 2007-8. Now, in addition to our forecast for the current and budget years, we also provide the legislature with four years of uh, the out-year forecast for the following subsequent years. And unfortunately, the news isn't good for that either. As you can see from these operating shortfalls, the problem stays at around the $20 billion level throughout the forecast period. It peaks in 2012-13 because of a $3 billion loan repayment to local government that we need to, to pay off at that time but it stays at a very high level 
especially compared with our revenue base. In this report, we do not provide specific options or recommendations as to how the legislature should solve this rather large problem. But we do provide more strategic approaches that we think the legislature will have to adopt in order to balance this budget. First, they're going to have to take early action. The sooner they act, the better, because oftentimes it takes a few months to actually implement expenditure reductions. They're going to have to focus on long-lasting solutions. While there will always be some one-time and short-term solutions adopted as a way of closing this budget gap, the legislature is going to need to adopt many, many more permanent or at least long-lasting solutions in order to close this long-term operating shortfall. It's going to have to make some very difficult decisions on priorities of what it spends and it's on its revenue structure. We think it's going to have to include some revenue options, whether it's closing tax expenditures, raising fees where you can target specific beneficiaries of state programs, or perhaps even extending for a few years the temporary tax increases that were passed uh, as part of the budget deal this past February and July. It's also going to have to seek very aggressively additional federal assistance. The federal government's budget is in as bad shape as ours, but they did provide us with some much-needed economic stimulus, and even some uh, small additional amounts uh, could make a big difference in the state closing its gap. And finally, the legislature may have to consider going to the ballot again to have the voters change various measures that they have approved in the past in order to provide some added flexibility to the legislature. So in short, it's going to be another very difficult year for the legislature in order to close what is another very large budget problem. Thank you.